What is up guys, Artix here, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Infinite Warfare video where today we're going to be using a gun that actually requires skill. <laughs> we're talking about the one and only Volk Retro. Sit down buddy. Sit down. Already wrecking. This gun is of course powerful, uh, it's the Volk. Regular old Volk except it has a conversion kit which turns the energy bullets into ballistic ammunition which means it's basically the AK-47 uh, without of course counting the camo and the wires I died because I stood there too long but anyways this gun uh, shoots ballistic ammunition uh, you know shoots actual bullets and it has a shit ton of recoil more recoil than the original Volk. Ooh, I gotta get out of here. It has more recoil than the Volk itself. And, uh, look at that. It, re it requires skill, like I said. Like, you can't just shoot this thing automatic all day and expect to be getting all the kills. You have to actually think about when are you gonna hit fire, when are you going to hold the trigger, and when are you going to tap fire? So, got this thing off of a summer days supply drop, and uh, I, I I like it. Like the damage is pretty good, you know. It's just that you gotta work. You gotta work with the recoil. You have to play skillfully, and I like that. I like the challenge because a lot of the weapons in Infinite Warfare they don't require skill. You just, you know, you use them, you shoot straight, and you, you'll land your shots, and this guy just killed me with the flatline. The flatline requires no skill at all whatsoever. The MV4, in general, doesn't require any skill, but the Volk Retro does, and that's why I actually like this gun. It has a shit ton of damage, and if you know how to control the recoil at certain ranges, then you're going to do great with this gun. So, uh, when you're up, when you're at medium range, you can automatically fire this thing. When you're at uh, medium range, short range, you're gonna want to try the hip fire because this thing has actually reduced uh, hip fire recoil. It has increased hip fire accuracy, I should say. So, when you're super close to the enemy, you're going to want to hip fire, like I did in the beginning of the video. When you're at medium range, you're gonna want Look, when you're at medium range, you're going to want to just shoot regular, like, you know, aim down the sight and shoot automatically. However, when you're getting to that longer range, you're going to want to uh, control your trigger. You're going to want to tap fire. That way, your recoil doesn't get out of hand and you can actually land the shots. In this map, for example, when enemies are right here, uh, in this line of sight, you stand by this window and you would have to tap fire. I, I wish there was an enemy there now. You would have to tap fire in order to get that kill because that's pretty long range and going fully automatic is not going to help you get that kill at all. So, uh, definitely a learning curve with this weapon. Ooh. Can I. Let me see if I can. There we go. Yeah, definitely a learning curve. Uh, if you're someone that likes a weapon challenge uh, in terms of how hard a weapon is to use, this gun, I think, is just right. It's one of the weapons that, again, for the fourth time, is going to require a little bit of skill because, you know, it's easy to forget when to tap fire, when to hit fire, when to automatic fire. Now, according to leaks, there will be another version, another variant of the Volk that will include the conversion kit, the ballistic conversion kit. And it will be called the AK-47 Vintage, uh, the Volk Vintage, sorry. Which will basically make the gun look like the original AK-47. So, I'm looking forward to that variant. And I suspect that variant will have even more recoil than this one, to be honest. But, maybe it will just be the same variant, just with a different skin. Because currently, you cannot change the camo. There we go. Currently, you cannot change the camo on this gun. It's locked to this uh, Lagoon camo, um, this beach camo. There we go. And um, yeah, 
So you obviously want to run four grip, quick jaw stock, and extended mags um, on this weapon. Of course, now that it's a ballistic variant, you get ballistic attachments. Does it sound like the AK-47? What can I tell you? Infinity Ward has never been great with weapon sounds. So in this game, I was pretty chill, just talking about the weapon in general, not really going for kills. But in the next gameplay you're about to see, I'm gonna be going for the kills. I'm gonna be showcasing the full power of this weapon and i just got wrecked again by the proteus as i was saying this is the class setup i am running the volk retro of course that beautiful thing right there foregrip you're gonna need it because it has a lot of recoil uh quick draw that's a given extended mag that's pretty much a given and stock that's also a given i mean i, I talk so much about these attachments when it comes to assault rifles you guys don't need an explanation perks ghost hardline dead silence you know me that's what i use bermuda is up next one of my favorite maps in absolution here we go boys bermuda is one of my favorite maps as i was saying in absolution because it's it's a daytime map so it's easy to see enemies and it just looks great and i just got two kills right there There comes that tap fire. There we go. You need fast trigger fingers, bro. Ooh, I did not expect him to be on that side of the wall. That was a close one. Warden. Advance UAV! Damn! Oh, come on! Thanks for the trade, IW. That uh, tap fire coming in handy. Got that warding in the air.
what I'm talking about. First place. Boots off the ground. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. That was the Volk Retro. Again, I like this gun. It's a challenge. It requires skill, but it's also a beast. So, if you enjoyed this gameplay, drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Toxic out.